exciting day to be in the studio. I like the weather today. It's it's not really um, cold and it's not hot. It's just very cool for, for my body and that of my guests. On this note, I welcome you to another exciting episode of On This Table. On This Table is a show where we bring you issues confronting life and the world at large and of course bring possible solutions to this life issues and this is exclusive to king's prime tv let's go on this quick break when i come back the show will kick off marriage they say is a beautiful thing um, um the bible says he that finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from god okay so <laughs> well we're going to be talking about marriage today and um i'm going to um streamline it to women is marriage an achievement for women and uh, with me in the house today is one lady that is so dear to me she's so dear to my heart <laughs> and um she is mrs choma Collins, I love it. You're so dear to me. And before you leave this show, everybody's going to see me carrying your headband today. I must look fly just like you. Thank <laughs> You're you. welcome to the show. How are you, you doing? I'm doing fine. I'm fine. Wow. Thank you Tell so me much. your skin routine. What do you do? You see the way you're glowing. Well, nothing much. Mm. Nothing much. Just the normal body cream. Mm. Take your head. You know, just use your normal body cream. Mm. That's do you take lots of water? I do. Mm, okay, I, do. I, I, I think yeah. that should be. And I do. Fit. I think the first yes. Mm. I do early morning water, the water therapy. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Maybe that helps. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, we're going to be talking about marriage, if it's an achievement for women, and um, you're married, so that th that makes sense because you're going to really understand what we're going to be talking about. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to start with, with the very first question. Why is there a need to get married? Well, first of all, marriage. Um, many people marry because of uh, different reasons. Mm. But I think generally the, the reason, the main reason why people go into marriage is because first God that's made that is the uh, uh, author of marriage mm. said it's not good for the man to be alone. Mm. And we saw that the woman had to come in. So most times for the man, it is because it's not good for him to be alone. And then the woman needs to get married in order to meet a need in the mm. life of a man. Mm. Mm. So that's, I think that's the main reason. You know, though some people think the other way, like it's because I'm of age, I need to marry. Mm. That's not actually the main reason. Okay. Okay, so um, for women, should marriage be considered as an achievement? I don't think so. Mm. I don't think so because an achievement is something you, something you 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 worked for, something you put energy into to bring it into existence. Do you understand? Mm. Uh -huh. But I don't think marriage is a call. If you ask me. Mm. It's a call. I mean, but um, mm. if, if, if you say um, it's, it's something you worked for, mm. I mean, people, pe people work a lot. People go through stuff for them to get married. So that answers the question. Mm. It's not an achievement. Oh, okay. Because it's, if, it is, if it is an achievement, then when you have worked or labored or tried and then strived to be married, you would have seen yourself there. Mm. Do you understand? But mm. because it is a call, it is meant for a part a, a people okay. and at a given time whenever it is time you see it, it to just happen okay. mm -hmm. then working to sustain it is now a different thing mm. yeah i mean okay let's let's really understand this marriage what is marriage okay marriage is a union between two opposite sex the male and the female man mm. the male and the female man and like i said earlier it came into being because a man needed to have a partner. Mm. God said it's not good for him to be alone. Mm. He said, I'll make him a help suitable for him. Mm. And if we remember our Bibles, you know, very well, you see that at a point, God had to bring the animals that he has made mm. to see if there is anyone that could be a partner to the man. He, man was busy giving them names. names yeah, yeah. He gave names, but at the end of that, as he said, and none was found. Man did not find a suitable mate. 
So God now had to do what he did to bring a woman out of the mm -hmm. man. So that was, so that union of the female man and the male man is what is called marriage. Mm. So now uh, um, let's, let's come to um, an understanding. You have, you have explained what marriage is, you've told us what achievement is. So now is marriage an achievement or a fulfillment? Mm, marriage is more of a fulfillment mm. than an achievement. Okay. Because if we we know that an achievement is, sorry, a fulfillment is achieving an expected or a required situation or need. Okay. And we say that marriage is a union between a male man and a female man. That's two opposite sex. Mm -hmm. Now, it is more of a fulfillment because a man gets a woman, you know, uh, yoked to him. Mm -hmm. That's coming into that relationship. We could say, yeah, yes, he's fulfilled. Mm -hmm. We even hear men say it. You understand? When they get married, you always hear them say, I'm a fulfilled man now. Mm -hmm. yeah, because a desired expectation has been achieved. Mm -hmm. So it's more of a fulfillment. Than so do you, do, do you need to get married to feel fulfilled? Not always. Not really. Okay. Because the point there is that there are people that are not, it's not everybody that is meant to get married. We know that there are people that Marriage is a call. Fulfillment to those who are meant to be married. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then there are people that they, they are their purpose on earth has all to do with marriage. Mm -hmm. Young women. So most times you could see them thriving very well, fulfilling a certain goal. Mm -hmm. You understand the cause they've discovered that is their purpose. You see them that are happy doing it. And they could do that satisfactorily without marriage mm -hmm. being involved okay. they don't feel they've missed out in anything mm -hmm. and at the same time even when you want to feel for them you are not married they'll mm -hmm. tell you that i'm okay i'm fine okay you understand okay. so we, to them is not an is not a fulfillment because they're satisfied with their okay so um you agree with me that every parent wants his or her child to get married even you before you got married, you wanted to get married. Yes. Me. <laughs> marriage is the same thing. So why is marriage compulsory? Marriage is not really compulsory. It's, you could say, compulsory to those who are called to marry. Mm. Yes. Because it's not everybody that's called to marry. You know, we know that if we look around us, you could see that there are people that... They didn't get married. Mm -hmm. It's not as if the teachers were not coming. Mm. They were better off. Like, I don't forget a friend I had that she was on. The, she was engaged, but along the line, she found that she was not meant to marry. Mm. So she didn't continue. She broke the relationship, mm. and moved on, doing what she was doing. She was happy because she felt like coming to marry will be tying down the man. Mm. It, she may not bring happiness to the man. Mm. And also, when you look at the Bible, there are people like, uh, uh, what was it, uh, Paul? Yeah, when we look again, there are people that too that are not okay from history. Women like a drink woman, there are other people that we've come across like that. You know, they are they just, their purpose is outside marriage. Mm -hmm. So, for okay. such people, marriage is not compulsory, mm -hmm. and they, mm -hmm. you see them fulfilled in the course of their existence, their purpose. They, they, they found it and they are running with it. Mm -hmm. So it's not composite. It's only composite to the person that is meant to marry. Mm -hmm. So um, um, generally, do, do do you think that marriage makes um, a woman complete? Like I said, for a woman that marriage is part of her agenda, as in her purpose mm -hmm. or God's agenda for her, it to make her complete. Mm -hmm. To make her complete. But for the person, for a woman that. You could, you, you, you have a purpose. A man is not necessarily in the picture. She's, she will be, her completion and her completeness is actually found in that thing, in that purpose that mm. she's meant to accomplish. Mm. For some people, it's in marriage. Mm -hmm. For some, it's not. So for whoever it's not for, you can't say it's an, it's a, it, it brings completion. But for anyone that God has mapped out marriage for any woman, except you get to that point you still feel that something is missing so once you see yourself settled down in marriage you feel like wow i'm okay now. so i um, are there signs to show that okay this person is not cut out for marriage or this person is not made is, uh, um, um, is, is not 
is not created to be married. There are so many signs, you know, though it's not a, um, a you can't say it is a proven fact, mm. but you could know. Because I remember that when I, you know, normally I can be very, very inquisitive. Mm. At a point, I was like, Do is it really composite for somebody to get married? Mm -hmm. Especially when I started seeing the ways of men, I, be, I started like, Maybe somebody can just live this life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just after all, I'm busy. I'm already doing something and I'm happy, mm. you know, in what I was doing. Yeah. So I felt like, why not just go on with your life? But then I remembered, I don't know, most times I always find myself being caught in the fix of sharing a life experience, mm -hmm. you know. So I found myself, you know, asking myself as in, is it compulsory? Do I have to? But then I remembered, you know, it was as if the uh, Holy Spirit was prompting me that, remember, you told me you don't want to marry. <laughs> Do you understand? Mm. But you have to change that thing you said. Mm. So I was like, but of what uh, importance is it to you? You understand? And I, I was like, so that thing I said that time, he said I was in my year two then. He said, yes, he's standing as a mother. And then mm. you said you don't want to marry. So I asked, so I need to just say yes. And I said, okay, now I want to marry. And mm. that particular, I was on my way for a wedding, a friend's wedding. So when I got to the wed uh, wedding venue, my bishop's wife now asked me, Chioma, why is it that you don't want to marry? Marriage is good. As if, do you understand? Mm. I was like, Mama, if you had asked me this thing yesterday, I would have told you I don't want. But on my <laughs> way to this wedding, mm. it happened. Mm. On my way to this wedding, the Holy asked me to change what I said. Mm. So when I finished school and I had some delays, you know, and I was like, she be, I said, I, I, okay, I didn't even remember this part again. So it was still the Lord that reminded me, I said, you said, if, if I don't have plans for you to get married, I wouldn't ask you to change what you said. Mm. So this is like a sign mm. for me to know that marriage is in God's plan for me. Mm. And there have come across people too that they, they are engaged to be married, mm. but they, not, they seem not to be interested in anything marriage, and they mm. don't feel like they're losing anything. Mm. And they're already doing something that is bringing, uh, you know, that is transforming lives. They are satisfied. They have a goal they're meeting. Mm. Lives are being touched. For them, they are, they are good. So those kind of people, when you force them into marriage, you may end up committing blunder. Mm. Like I said, Kajikula is a very case study in that. When she even yoked herself into marriage, you saw that things stopped working. And it happened to be a man that was even already married. So she had to separate herself and then her purpose continued to flow again. Mm. So there could be signs. If the person says to be, you will know. Okay. So, uh, um, which means that the society has placed value um, on, on marriage. Now, why is it that it is only when you get married that, as a woman, that you get respected? Because I know that I've seen a lot of persons who are still young, and then the way, just because they are wearing a band on their finger, I mean, they, 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 uh, how do I even explain it? They tend to get first class treatment. They tend to get um, respected. So why is it that it's only when you're married that then the society now places value on you and respect you? Actually, it's not supposed to be so. Mm. But I think the reason why the society do that is first, marriage is um, a lot of hard work. Mm. So I, did, I think they believe that for a young woman, to be married and be in marriage. Mm. There are some level of um, discipline she has mm. acquired because we know that marriage, there are things that could happen in that will make you feel like, no, I don't care. Mm. You know, you just throw in the towel and leave. But it takes discipline mm. to keep your cool. So most times, I think part of the respect they give is that one, this one has found a man mm. that she is under, mm -hmm. submitting to, mm. respecting him. Mm. So she deserves to be respected. Mm. But I also know that there are young women that are not yet married, but they are also well respected okay. because they maintain a, a particular, a certain character mm. and culture. Okay. Mm. Okay. All right. Let's go on this quick break. The conversation still continues. We'll be right back. King's Prime TV, your one-stop entertainment platform for live sports, news, top-notch Nollywood movies. Please log on to www.kingsprimetv.com.
www.gogoplaystore.com or download our app from the Google Play Store iOS to get entertainment just the way you like it. So we have been talking about um, uh, marriage. Is marriage an achievement for women? For women, and I still have Mrs. Choma Collins right here with me. <laughs> okay, so um, this this question. Now they say that the woman's place is in the kitchen. That's the reason why <laughs> they train her right from when um, um, they train her from a, from a younger age because they know that one day she'll be under a man. And then she will end up in the kitchen. So is that a proven fact? Is a woman's place really in the kitchen? I don't think so. Mm. I don't think so. But you know, where we grew up from the culture, just like you say, they train her. Mm. That's what our culture, especially, the, you know, some ethnic groups believe that a woman's place is in the kitchen. But these days we know that it's not so. Mm. Women have achieved a whole lot outside the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Yes, in as much as they have a role to play in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Because you are a mother, you are a wife, mm -hmm. you must take care of the children, your husband. Mm -hmm. So you must do something, mm -hmm. have to do with the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And by the way, there are men that are very good cooks too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you can't just say a woman's place in the kitchen. She has a role there to play. A woman also can be a pace setter. A woman can be a pioneer of something beautiful outside kitchen. It all takes on when a woman, uh, when someone is properly oriented. Mm. These days, women pursue goals and they fulfill them. Mm. Women stand by their husband to fulfill a particular dream mm -hmm. or course outside the kitchen. Mm. So a woman's place is not just in the kitchen, even though kitchen could be inclusive. I mean, how did that even come up in the first place? Because if you look at it, okay. Whether a woman is um, a graduate or not, or whether she has achieved a lot or not, she still goes back to the kitchen. Mm. I mean, I don't know if, if I'm, maybe you can prove me wrong, mm. but I think a, a woman still goes back to the kitchen. Goes back to the kitchen. So maybe, um, let's understand this. This going back to the kitchen, is it like, um, is it reality or it's just a literary statement? It's not a literary statement. She goes back, but doesn't mean that her place is just in the kitchen. I think mm. that's, okay. if I get the question mm. very well. She goes back to the kitchen. She's a mother. She mm. must. She has to feed her children. Mm -hmm. She's a wife. She'll take care of her husband, mm -hmm. who needs to be fed mm -hmm. too. So she can't actually do without the kitchen. Mm. Yes, she might become a professor, mm. but the kitchen is still, it's still there. her place. Mm. Okay. Okay. So for you now, um, what do you call an achievement? An achievement beyond just marriage now. Mm -hmm. Everything, every set goal or purpose you, you, you are set out to accomplish, a laid down goal, purpose, or pursuit that you're able to you know, bring to reality is an achievement. Mm -hmm. It could be marriage. It could be any other thing. It could be a mm -hmm. career. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It could be a career. Okay. So, uh, 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 should a woman aspire to be a great woman without a man by her side? Of course. Of course. You know, what we normally have problems about this marriage stuff is when a woman sits down and folds her hands and to just be waiting for a man, for to, a come man to come and, and carry her. Mm. But when you have a... When you understand that there is more to my just living and waiting to be married. Mm -hmm. I have to contribute to the society, you know, to the society. I need to add beauty, love, joy, you know, bring satisfaction to people around. Mm -hmm. Then what do I do to bring this, mm -hmm. you know, into fulfillment? And in the course of that, you discover purpose. You understand? Even mm -hmm. though you know that marriage is part of a woman's purpose, for those, for that woman that is meant to get mm -hmm. married, so when I discover my purpose as a, a single lady and I begin to pursue it every day, I, I, I build, I work on myself, I labor to bring it to manifest, uh, to a, a, you know, a manifestation. A time comes when it becomes a full career. Mm. You know, while I'm waiting to be married, expecting the man to come, 
I'm also pursuing my career. Mm -hmm. Some women we've seen had actually achieved a lot before their husband came. Mm -hmm. And some of them, when the man came, is just to now sit to continue on that that the woman has already started. Mm -hmm. Some of the men could testify that, in fact, what attracted me to this woman is that this is actually where I was going. Mm -hmm. And I saw that she's there already. So it wasn't even for the man to now make a decision. So she could achieve her career without the man. So the man can come along the line. And if he doesn't, you move on. Mm, okay. Mm. So um, now I'm going, to, I'm going to ask this very, very simple question. Why do they say that? Why do, why do, this, why do the society frown at single successful women? I think that's just, um, um, what would I call it? Um, Is it like inferiority complex on the part of the man? I think, I think that's the issue. It's a complex issue. Inferiority complex, or to some it could be superiority complex. Mm. Feeling that I am the man. I'm the man, yeah. And you know, sometimes there are times that men, a man will say something, I'll be like, a man is a man. The role of a man is the role of a man. There is no contention mm. between the headship of the man, you know, with the woman. The woman knows that a, a, a correct woman actually should know her place. A woman achieves something, it shouldn't threaten the position of, the, position man. of the man. The man yeah. shouldn't let mm. himself be threatened. Mm -hmm. You are the man. You know, I listened to um, a, a, a short video whereby a man said that no matter how a woman tries, you can never assume the place of a husband. Mm. A man is a man and is a husband. So no matter what a woman achieves in her career, it shouldn't threaten the man. I think where the society frowns is that society feels the woman is going to now start disrespecting the man. Mm -hmm. She's going to be feeling, after all, I'm not making money at home. But it's not supposed to be. A correct woman, in as much as you've you know, achieved a lot, you've made name waves in your career, you should still remember that you are a wife. Mm -hmm. Submit When you submit to him, the man will not feel like that. Because men feel like that because we give them the reason to. We mm -hmm. make them feel as if they are not competent enough. We make them feel as if they are nothing. We have already achieved something. It's not supposed to be you. A, 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 my husband should be happy at my achievement if I submit and respect him yeah. as I should. Okay. Now, mm. men say that when they marry a woman, they assume that it's them doing that woman a favor. Because I've I've heard a lot of men. I, I've heard some men who come out to say that uh, 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 to to tell their wives that. You're supposed to be happy that I brought you out of your father's house. <laughs> so truly, a man marrying you, you see him doing you a favor. That's not true. It's not correct. So why do they always rub it on the or on the faces of women? You know, you know, marriage, like we said, is actually supposed to be for matured yes. people. Okay. So when if a man is actually matured, he wouldn't say that. Mm. Because the truth is that a woman comes to help the man. Mm. After all, God said it's not good for him to be, to alone. be alone. I'll give you a, a help suitable for you. The woman never needed the help. So if the woman comes in and the man keeps saying, I did you a favor, it means he doesn't understand the purpose of the wife to him. The wife is actually a kind of, a, you know, your completion. Mm. You are not complete without her. So if she comes in and you keep, uh, you keep, uh, you know, reminding her, taunting her with the fact that, it's a favor I'm doing you. It's just a clear uh, indication that he lacks knowledge. He lacks wisdom. He doesn't know. If he knows, he wouldn't say that. And then for the woman that hears that, I believe the woman should be more, you know, should act more maturely because you now see why you came into that man's life. Mm -hmm. You understand? You are the help. He doesn't know you are. But just do your part. You have to keep letting him see your relevance until he's able to change his opinion and that works truly mm, okay. yes there is a way you, re, you you know deal with him based on knowledge i know that i may help to you mm. you don't need to tell him when he acts like that do things that will make him become that is when you are not there he knows he can't take a step without you mm. make yourself so relevant to him that he wouldn't be able to you know do anything i have a boss you know she's so she so she has so filled in the space in the life of her husband that every moment the husband is calling her asking mm. her what about this what about that you understand she knows when the husband needs to blink mm. she knows what to do mm. that a man can't do without her 
So for such a man, you see, when he's conversing with his friends, he always tell tell them, my wife is this, my wife is that. You can't tell that, that kind of a woman that mm -hmm. I did you a favor. Mm -hmm. He will keep telling God, thank you for bringing this kind of woman into my life. So if your husband keeps telling you, I did you a favor, you have a work to do. Mm. Prove him otherwise. Let mm. him see your relevance and he'll change his mindset. So it's more like a woman needs to place value on herself. That is it. And you don't need to keep verbalizing it. You don't need mm. to exchange words with your mm. husband. Mm. You know, make it be. Leave it out. Leave it out. When he begins to speak, you don't need to, the man doesn't need to, you don't need to even tell him. He will just say it. You understand? Mm. So, so what, what is your advice to young girls out there who still believe that whatever thing they do, they'll still end up in a man's house? And then they tend to make that notion the number one priority um, right now in their lives. I would tell for the young people out there, you know, when I was, uh, before I got married, mm. I remember that while I was telling God, what is still keeping the young man? Uh, <laughs> the from, man. You yes. He will just tell me, keep get busy. Hmm. You understand? Get busy. You said at the point he, he asked me, say you say you're ready for marriage. I said yes. One thing that he, you know, he kind of presented to me, I failed the test woefully. He told me, now nah, have you seen that you're not ready? Let's prepare hmm. you. So for the young girl out there, allow God to prepare because he's the author of marriage. Hmm. He knows the man you're going to be a help to mm. he knows it it doesn't take it's not it, it, you're not going to it, he's not going to produce the man just like that he has already the man is there waiting mm. some are waiting some are also in the making as in they are here but he's putting one or two one thing or the mm. other so your own is get busy find out from god what are the things i need to do to get myself so that when i come i will truly be a suitable help the man will not be telling me I did you a favor. Mm. Do you understand? Because mm -hmm. truly, I believe that for a man to make that statement means that he's not seeing the wife's relevance. Mm. Even though he's not supposed to speak like that. But for because he's not, he's ignorant, he has said it. Mm. Then you that is the girl, prove him wrong. So for the young one there, the young women there, you are yet to enter marriage. Get busy. Ask God, what are the things that I need to the packages I need to be coming in with so that by the time I come, he will tell you, thank you for giving me this. Wow. Yes. Mm. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. All right, guys, let's go on this quick break. When I come back, the Nomi segment kicks off. Welcome back. So I still have Mrs. Choma Collins in the house and this is the Know Me segment. This is where we get to know you <laughs> for, for a few minutes. Yes. So I'm going to be asking you some questions and you're going to give me your answers. Okay. So number one question, uh, meat or fish? Fish. Hmm. You like fish that is bone. No, you, don't, you, don't, you don't like stress-free meat that you just put in your mouth. Mm -hmm. I like fish because you can, you just, it's soft mm -hmm. and not a, a fresh fish. Mm -hmm. I prefer iced fish. Mm -hmm. You know, a iced fish has one aroma. I mean, when you cook I, I, iced fish, there's this, there's this aroma that comes from the pots like this. I, 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 I don't know. I, I, maybe that's why I really liked it because mm -hmm. the fresh fish, I don't like that. There's this kind of smell. Mm. It normally has, so it puts me off. Mm. Okay, so casual or corporate? I'm more of a corporate person. I can see it. <laughs> I can see it. Jeez. <laughs> Shoes or sandals? Shoes. Okay, heels or flats? Heels. But I'm trying to learn how to go on flats. Really? <laughs> heels. Heels okay. at any time. Okay. I'm learning to go on flats mm. these days. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Fufu or Gary? No, Gary. No time for Gary. Ah, but fufu, 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 fufu mm, makes the this. I can't stand this smell. Oh, okay, okay, all right. <laughs> jollof rice or fried rice? Damn jollof. Hmm. You don't like fried rice. Fried yeah, rice is I jollof. don't like it, but um, I can more of jollof. Mm. I can do both, but more of jollof. Oh, okay, mm. okay. So, um, chocolate or ice cream? Ice cream. Mm. I like ice cream. Yes. What's, the, what's the flavor? What flavor do you like? Vanilla. Mm, I like vanilla too. Okra or goosey? Okra. Yes. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I like okra. okra. Oh my goodness. <laughs> movies or sleeping? Mm, not sleeping. Mm. Not movies. Oh, or okay. rather singing. Mm. Mm, I love singing. Mm. I can be in the house. I don't even know that whether the television is on or not. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Just saying, that's that's cool. Question. I enjoy it. All right, cake or puff puff? Cake. Ah, 
Ah, you're not too shy. Okay, you, you, you're, you're too shy. You're not, you're, you're not like us. We love puff puff. <laughs> Strawberry or vanilla? Vanilla. Mm, you said so. phone call or SMS? Um, phone call. Mm. Phone call. Okay, why? Why? Because some, it's some straight to the point. You just say what you want to say and mm, you drop okay. pots. You SMS tend to have a better before. conversation mm -hmm. phone call. Mm -hmm. And I prefer, I like, I prefer hearing the person's voice. Mm. You know, voice could, you could, you can relay, you can relate something, mm. just the tone of your voice and mm. say a lot. Mm. Okay. I only do SMS when maybe the person didn't pick then. You can just, okay, mm. all right. Pizza or shawarma? Pizza. Oh, <laughs> okay, pasta or noodles? I feel like pizza. Mm. Okay, no dues I can manage, but I'm not really a fan. A of, fan. Yeah, oh, okay. Oh. oh, all right. So, um, can you recall what age you stopped bed wetting? I can't remember bed wetting. Wow. <laughs> no, really. Wow. <laughs> My mom used to tell me that I, when I was, I behaved like an adult. Mm. I, but truly, I can't remember bed wetting. Hmm. That's that's good. I like that. Okay, so um, we're going to have a little tongue twister. Um, we have tongue twister for you. Okay. So you're going to say this. <laughs> you're going to say this. Um, red lorry, yellow lorry. <laughs> so you're going to say it like really, really fast, like five times. Mm. So are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, one, two, three, go. Red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, lorry yellow lorry, Larry lorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, lastly, what's your favorite color? Um, brown. Wow. And orange. Ah, uh, yes. That reminds me. Your headband after this show, guys. <laughs> I'm going to make a video of this. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much Thank for coming. You. I really Thank learned you. a lot today, Thank and I'm sure you guys out there, you have you you you've learned something today. For women, you can do better. You have more to give. Um, um, why don't you just um, add value to yourself because you are a great woman. You are a queen. On this note, um, um, I'm going to draw the curtains of this episode of On This Table. On This Table is exclusive to King's Prime TV. And download the King's Prime TV app on the Google Store um, or the Apple Store. Subscribe and you have a one month free subscription to watch movies, um, soccer, um, cartoons, Nollywood, Hollywood, Bollywood movies, um, series, interesting, interesting movies. Until next time, my name is Joy Dixon. Bye for now.